A really cool trick to creating awesome motion graphics is to have strong contrast in your scene. And you can do this very easily by creating a light source or at least a fake light source. So in this video, I wanna talk about how you can put together a really cool loopable neon glow scene by using shapes. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to smash that like button too for the YouTube algorithm. It likes it a lot. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create these neon glow scenes from scratch. They're gonna be loopable and they'll probably impress your mother. So we'll be creating this glow effect with the free Saber plugin. I'll link in the description if you don't already have it. So here we are in a blank comp. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to layer, new, solid, call it glow. And for the width and height, we're gonna make this larger than the actual composition and click OK. Then the first thing we're gonna do is go to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. All right, so we already have the basis of this effect in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this top point and you know, we'll just bring it down so it's kind of in the center of our comp. And then we'll grab this other point and we can just kind of arch it like this. And let's go here to render settings and let's set the composite settings to transparent. So we'll be able to combine more of these together. And you're welcome to change your color here, but using the preset, you know, it has worked out very well for me. So I'll continue to use that. So what we're gonna do here is hit T on keyboard for opacity. And we're just gonna add a keyframe for this. We'll bring this keyframe forward and we'll set the opacity to 0%. We'll move forward here in our timeline and you know we'll just add a keyframe by changing the value we'll move forward by a little bit we'll bring down the opacity so what we're doing here is creating a quick flicker so you know when the scenes you know first comes on there's nothing there and then it flickers on i think that's fitting for a glow effect for a neon glow so what we can do is now is take our glow layer and we'll go to edit duplicate and this time around what we're going to do is grab the bottom point here and we'll just shift it over to the other side like so so we're creating a shape, I guess a, a chevron or a triangle. Not sure what the right shape there is, but we'll come here and you know we can change the color to whatever we would like. And there's that. We can overlay how we want these to be. Maybe blue is the dominant one. That's fine. All right, so this is looking okay. You know, now we want to create somewhat of that floor reflection that you see in our main composition. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our glow effect and we'll duplicate it, bring it to the bottom. We can call it floor if you want. And we're gonna make sure that all of our layers are 3D layers here, all right? And then we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation, and we'll come here to the X rotation, and we'll bring this down. And we'll keep it at 106, because I find that to be the best angle for this. And then we'll hit P on keyboard for position, and we'll bring this down and just get this into place as best as we can, and be lined up with that glow right there. All right, and then we'll hit T on keyboard for opacity again. We'll go to that last keyframe, and we'll set the opacity down to 60%. So this will be the basis of our floor effect. And then once again, we'll take that blue one and we'll duplicate it and do the same exact thing again with the rotation and the repositioning of it. So now we'll have our shape all set up, but now we got to make this look good. So what we're going to do is go to layer new camera, click OK. And since everything's already 3D, we're good to go. So we'll open up camera one and we'll go to the camera options and let's enable depth of field. We'll come here to aperture, set to like 135, and then we'll come here to the blur level, which is right here, and we'll set that up to 200%. So this will create a very soft, you know, out of focus look there. And we'll go ahead and animate this before revisiting it if we need to. So we'll go to layer, new, null object. And now what we'll do is we'll parent the camera to the null object. All right, so then at the beginning of our timeline, we'll grab the null object, we'll hit S our keyboard for scale, and we'll add a keyframe for this. And we'll come here to five seconds in time, and we'll go ahead and decrease the scale to go right past us. So like right here is fine. All right, so we'll come back here to the camera and we'll revisit the blur level. We'll go ahead and increase this up by a lot more and you'll see that you'll get a lot more control over, you know, how much out of focus the floor is gonna be here. Um, and that's very important. So you just have to play with that to get the correct settings that you would like to have for the floor reflection. And you can increase the aperture as well and that will help with you know things going out of focus but you'll have to really increase those numbers it just depends on how much you really want okay so now we need to keep this looping so what we're going to do is right at five seconds we're going to hit n on our keyboard to make sure that the timeline is not going to be longer than five seconds all right and then we'll right click our work area here and we'll trim comp to work area okay awesome so now what we're going to do is we'll take all of our layers and we're going to pre-compose it and we can call it glow shape and click OK. Then we'll go to composition settings here at the top and we'll go ahead and increase the duration to be a little bit longer. So we'll do like 15 seconds or something, it's up to you. And we'll zoom out of our timeline. 
All right, so what our goal here is to keep this looping. So we'll take our layer, we'll right click it and we'll click on time and we'll enable time remapping. We're gonna alt click the stopwatch and we're gonna type in loop out just like this, open close parenthesis just like that. And then all we have to do is take our layer here and just expand it to the end of our composition. So this will loop indefinitely. So then as you can imagine, we'll take this layer and we'll duplicate it, offset it in time like so. You can also drag out the endpoint as well. Beautiful. So now we'll go ahead and do like maybe one more duplicate and we'll just, you know, bring that back in time like so. And in really bad quality, we're going to have this looping tunnel here. Um, and that's really cool. Now there's some other elements that we could apply to this. So we can go ahead and create an adjustment layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we'll add noise and you know, I'll do like 10 or something percent. And that helps out with everything and makes it look a little bit better in my opinion. And of course with this, you probably want to use this as some sort of background. Maybe you'll have some text. That's up to you. And of course you can use other patterns and shapes that you would like. So here's an example of just lines on the top and bottom. Uh, we have another composition where I just had these lines standing straight up. And all this is the same concepts, just depends on how you position the actual saber effect. Uh, and you can really pull off some really cool glow looping effects. To close out this video, I want to show you how you can save time and produce awesome work with our 1400 Motion Graphics Professionals Pack right here for After Effects. So this is our extension right here inside of After Effects. This is the Motion Graphics Professionals Pack where we have 1400 templates in here. And how this works, we find an element that we want to use. We can preview it and click on Apply. And now we have this title animation in here. We can double click on the composition, quickly change out our titles. And as we update the title, everything will be auto responsive. And you can change the colors of everything with our control layers inside of every composition. And back in our main comp, everything will update. We can do this even further uh, with some cool elements here. So we have some accent graphics that you can quickly use to help spruce up your composition. And now there's some more detail in our comp. We can come here to our backgrounds and we can find some really cool gradients here and we'll apply this one real quick. In about a minute or two, we're able to put together a really cool composition just by using three templates out of this pack of 1400 templates where we have many more categories like promos, you know, transitions and really cool creative effects to help bring your projects to the next level. So if you're looking to produce awesome and professional work right now, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So now you should have a handful of techniques to help you create these scenes in any way that you need. And of course, I hope it repairs your relationship with your parents. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tools every single week right here on the channel. Also hit me up on Instagram. We got tutorials on there as well, one minute tutorials, and always be creating.